Kellyanne Conway is a former counselor to the president, and she joins us now. This has the Democrats panicking, Kellyanne. What does it tell you? It tells me an awful lot. The New York Times Siena poll was a huge indictment of how Kamala Harris has frittered away any chance she had to recast herself as this fresh-faced, new blood, transformative transitional candidate, basically just by hiding. And the men around her have hidden this woman. They're afraid to have her speak to the press. They're afraid to leave her alone with the public. They're afraid to have her do even a 16-minute interview without her comfort pet, Tim Walls, by her side. <laughs> and, Jesse, all this is now pouring into the polling. What does the polling tell us? You mentioned change. 61 percent of the people that The New York Times surveyed over the weekend said they want the next president to be a change from Biden. Then they were asked the seminal question, who represents change more? Trump, 53, Harris, 28. He's seen as the insurgent with an incumbent's record that people miss. They feel like they were more prosperous, they were more safe, life was more fair, there were more opportunities at the time, and less chaos and crisis around the world. She is seen as an incumbent who's running away from being an incumbent. And so her better strategy would have been to hook her into the Biden-Harris legacy, try to make the case that it's she hadn't had her hand on the tiller, so she needs four more years to finish what started. But instead, she's trying to distance herself from Biden, and no one's buying it. I thought the biggest thing in the poll, really, was what I see as the new gender gap in American politics. For decades, it's been said that the Republicans have a hard time attracting women. Donald Trump can't win women voters. Well, he beat the Queen Bee, Hillary Clinton, and the majority electorate, as we have been since 1964, were female. The gender gap is now Kamala Harris's problem in attracting male voters. Trump is beating her by 17 points among men overall in that New York Times Siena poll, and she's only beating him by 10 points mm. among women. That's a disaster that for her. That is really She's not shocking. even getting typical. She's not even. This is New York Times polling. Yeah. Jesse, on election day 2016. <laughs> well, I guess it, it does make sense, though. No, it does make sense because it's Kamala Harris. Yes. Right? She, correct. <laughs> That's the whole thing here. She's not even getting what a typical Democrat would get. She doesn't have what they would get among African Americans, particularly males, Hispanics, particularly males, even young voters, and especially women now. So she's supposed to be atypical for all the good reasons. And people are looking at her, and they're not saying her race and her gender are in, in inhibiting their vote. They're saying it's eyesight and hearing. They've been listening and paying attention, watching and seeing, and watching and listening, and they're not getting much from her. I just want to say the New York Times on 2016 at 10, uh, I'm sorry, in November 8th, 2016, at 10, 20 p.m., they said that Donald, uh, what's her name, Hillary Clinton had a 85% chance of winning. They, they said that we were losing Michigan by seven, Trump won it. We were losing Wisconsin by six, he won it. We were losing Pennsylvania by five. It's the same pollsters, Jesse, telling us that Trump's in the lead. This is remarkable data. Well, then, then we're going to have a remarkable finish in November, yes. if that's the case. Kellyanne Conway, you'll see her tomorrow night previewing and reacting to the debate, and I might join her. We'll see how it shakes out. Kellyanne. Thanks, Jesse. See you later. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.